talking about, okay, Deborah? No, 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 you have no idea what you're saying. That movie should have been nominated for Best Visual Effects, and it just proves my point that it wasn't. The Oscars are rigged. Are you kidding me? That movie had the best effects for its time. It was like I was really there. Martin Scorsese himself said that I should have gotten Best Picture, too. Oh, come on, Deborah. Grow up. Oh, sorry about that. Deborah, do you mind just restocking the Disney section, please? I appreciate it. Yeah, classics. I'm sorry about that. Welcome to Ryan's Radical Movies. How can I help you? Oh, uh, we're just talking about the Oscars, you know. It's this weekend, so kind of excited. <laughs> what movie? Uh, it's this old film, Masterpiece. I think you may have heard of it, uh, The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl in 3D. You've seen it. So you understand it's masterpiece. I mean, come on, the effects for its time were unbelievable. Watching George Lopez's face poorly CGI'd, greatly CGI'd onto a robotic body is just... You'll never see that again. <laughs> Either way, how are you doing? Good, good. You want to stock up on some movies for the weekend, huh? All right, well, we got plenty more than just movies here. We carry collectibles, photo frames, shadow boxes, board games, movie tickets, gift cards, whatever you need. Okay. Yeah, we'll go over pretty much the whole lot. How's that sound? Mm. Want some popcorn? I made it last night. I just microwaved it again. Kept it warm. You're good. More for me. So, you don't mind me asking, uh, what are you in the mood for today? Okay, romance. We got a couple of those. Family films. All right. Comedy. Who doesn't love a good comedy? Action. You know, get a little Tom Cruise in there. <laughs> no? Okay. And horror. All right. Well, I specialize in horror. I personally believe that the Rob Zombie's Halloween remake is the best in the entire franchise. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, uh, why don't we just go ahead and get started? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Is there any uh, particular order you want to go in? Awesome. We'll start with the romance movies. i got a little pile here actually prepared for each genre. I have three movies that I would highly recommend for the romance category. So, we'll go through each one, and if you want to add one to your cart, just let me know. Of course. The first one is a 4K Ultra HD collector set for The Shape of Water. This movie is a poetic love letter to misunderstood creatures. Yeah, I just came up with that on my own. So, uh, it's really just one of Guillermo del Toro's best films, in my opinion. Uh, the amount of work they put into the practical effects of the suit that they used in the movie are just second to none. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, anybody could really watch this movie. It was uh, actually nominated for 13 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Oh, oh, trust me. Let me pop this bad boy open, show you what you're working with. So, you got your slip cover, and of course, the 4K disc. Okay. As you see inside, you get both discs, both the Blu-ray and the 4K. So, what do you think? Are you kidding me? You haven't seen this movie. It's amazing. I would highly recommend adding it to your cart, and that one part, when she's like, you, your shape, it's like, of water. It's really, really nice. I highly recommend it. Sounds good to me. Sold. Go ahead and add that one to your cart, okay? Now, next up for romance, we will not stop with the classics. Right here. You have the one, the only... Moonlight. Wait. La La Land. <laughs> Sorry about that. I always mix those two up for some reason. But, you know, say you're not into the more 
suspense film, tension, kind of thriller filled romance like Shape of Water is, and you want to take a trip down Broadway and enjoy a nice romantic musical, La La Land is the one to do it for you. Now I may have uh, some bias considering Ryan Gosling is a father and Emma Stone is mother. I enjoy those actors very, very much. But as Peter Bradshaw said of The Guardian, it is a sun-drenched musical masterpiece. He gave it five stars. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, don't even take it from me. Take it from Chris from Entertainment Weekly. Pure movie magic. I mean, take a look at that. Nominated and won six Academy Awards, including Best Director, Best Actress, Best Cinematography, Best Original Song, and of course, Best Picture. Wait. No, I think, I think Moonlight won that one, sorry. I always mess that up. I mean, the names look so similar. So, what do you think? Do you want to sing along with Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone? While crying your eyes out, realizing how lonely of a person you truly are? Of course, of course, we'll add that one to your card as well. Oh, well, we have a Radical Movie Club member discounts, so if you sign up at the end of your transaction, we'll be sure to make sure you get a good deal. I wouldn't worry too much about the price. Of course. Ah, uh, and a refreshingly original take on the romance movie. One of my personal favorites. The Last Exorcism. <laughs> now this movie always makes me fall in love over and over again. It's about this young girl who lives off in the country land, you know, and the true love of her life is moving away from their city into the big city. And she grabs him by the arm right as she's about to leave him. And she says, wait, please. Just one last exorcism. <laughs> you know what? I tear up every time I think about it. It's the way she breaks her back. It's, it's a beautiful romantic comedy. It really is. I don't want to spoil too much. Okay, okay, nice. You got this nice canvas slipcover. And inside, it includes a digital copy. So you can take that exorcism on the road to you. Uh, of course, who doesn't love their exorcism to go? <laughs> All right. So how you feel about those romance movies? Of course. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, I know people have their own preferences. Mine are a little different, but nothing you haven't seen before. Um, I know, I know comedy movies are extremely important. Very, very good. So we're going to go ahead and go over comedies in a sec. But first, I need to show you some of our family films. Oh, you look like the family type of person, huh? Alright, cool. We'll just go over a couple of these very classic family films. You betcha. You ran straight into the world's greatest family film. The Spongebob Squarepants movie. Not Sponge on the Run or Sponge Out of the Water or whatever it's called. I'm talking the 2004 classic Spongebob Squarepants movie. Scott from the New York Times called it The Country Needs Spongebob Squarepants. I mean, need I say more? This movie features the world's most famous sponge and starfish. It's about two best friends that go out on an adventure to retrieve back a crown that was taken from a king from the evil Plankton. And in order to save their boss and take over the brand new money shilling Krusty Krab too, Spongebob needs to bring that crown back from Shell City and prove to everyone that he's a man. It's really, really nice. It features a bunch of funny gags, both for adults and children. And it also features one of the most gut-wrenching 
eye tearing up scenes I've ever had in my life. Oh yeah, the first time I saw this movie I was a child expecting jokes, fun, comedy, and a family-friendly time. Instead, I ended up soaking my bed sheets up with my own tears. Yes, they were tears. Okay. Here, you're going to be getting the Blu-ray, the DVD, and a digital HD copy. What do you think? Okay. Okay. No worries. No worries. I know that a lot of streaming services out there are destroying the fabric of physical collectors, but you got Paramount Plus. You can see it anytime. I get it. <laughs> Next up, we have a classic Disney movie, Inside Out. Now, if you've ever seen Inside Out, this movie will tug at your heartstrings and make you wish you were a kid all over again. Richard Roper from the Chicago Sun-Times says one of the best movies of the year. And I'd have to agree. This movie follows Riley, a young woman coming into her own, experiencing different emotions every single day the same way we did when growing up. We have emotions like joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust. All emotions that you and myself have gone through every single day. So, it's a really fun movie to just kind of sit back and enjoy. And, and oh yeah, yeah, it does have one of the saddest scenes of all time because... Disney and Pixar. Bing Bong is an imaginary friend that Riley made. Right there. Bing Bong. And there's a scene where it really shows that whenever we let go of those imaginary friends, let go of all that creativity inside of us, it just kind of evaporates. It disappears. So basically, Riley kills Bing Bong in a scene, and it is the most depressing thing I've ever seen in my life. It really shows you that if you let go of your inner child, you will grow up to be an old, crusty man telling kids to get off their lawn and die alone. But at the end, everything works out for Riley. And I actually think they're coming out with the second one pretty soon. I would catch up. Oh, yeah, you get a bunch of extras as well. As you see here, there's a new short. Riley's first date, which is very funny. And you get a lava short film. That short film always makes me cry as well. What do you think? Inside out? Inside your cart? That's right. I'll add that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, do, I do have just one more family film to show you. It's a fantastic animated family film that I went to go see with my kids when it came out of the movie theaters, and they were just... Um, enjoyed it. That, of course, is Sausage Party. Filled with a cast of incredible people. Rated R? Oh, I know it says Rated R on there, but it's R for really family fun. <laughs> Radical family fun. It's basically about a supermarket store that has a bunch of different food items and grocery store items that come to life when the store closes, and they all pray to the gods, the gods being the consumers. That's us. And it has a bunch of amazing comedic talent in this. Seth Rogen, Kristen Wiig, Jonah Hill, Bill Hader, Michael Cera, James Franco, Danny McBride, Greg Robinson, love him in the office, Paul Rudd, Ant-Man, Nick Kroll, David Krumholtz, Edward Norton, and of course, Salma Hayek. It really is just a, a perfect movie. Something to really make everybody enjoy it. Kids, adults, all types. This movie really isn't a family-friendly film. Please don't watch it. I don't endorse children watching this movie because it's obviously an adult film. Don't watch it if you're a child. If you're an adult, yes, you can watch it. Now back to the video. I mean, you got all your friends there for the party. You got Taco, you got Wiener, you got Bun, you got Wiener, you got Bagel, and you got Wiener. It, it's just, 
It's fantastic. Would you like to take it or not? Oh, okay. This is an atrocity to all of the human race. Okay, and I understand that. Okay, I'll just put it over here. I won't show you that again. Um, why don't we take a break from the movies and move over to some board games, huh? Oh, yeah, there are plenty of really fun board games out there, and I have a good collection going myself. Mm -hmm. Well, I do have some horror-themed board games. If you're into them, I can show you. Yeah, no, it's no biggie at all here. Let me break them open for you. Here, we have a game of strategy and suspense. That's right. Jaws, the officially licensed board game. This game is two to four players, ages 12 and up, and the average game will run you about 60 minutes. It's incredible. Let me read it. Experience Jaws as a suspenseful tabletop strategy game. One player menaces the island of Amity as the three-ton Great White Jaws, while the other players go on the hunt as Brody, Hooper, and Quint. You get two thrilling phases of gameplay. Capture the edge of your seat in this excitement of the classic film. It's really, really fun. As you can see, you set up the board, which is the Island of Amity. Uh, three players are going to be controlling all the humans, and one player gets to eat all of their friends as a great white shark. It really is a lot of fun. What do you think? Oh, it's okay if you don't have friends to play with. You can just make them up in your mind. That's what I do. Deborah doesn't like playing board games with me, you know. She's like, if you're not paying me, I'm going home. It's like, come on. Do people that have jobs really just do their work and go home? But this one's really fun, and I would highly recommend it. Plus, I can always come over and play board games with you. Not really your style. I totally get it. <laughs> Don't worry. I think I have something else that might... This right here is a board game based on the horror classic, Halloween. Now, this one I haven't played myself, but it's an officially licensed game made by Trick or Treat Studios. This game is actually really similar to Jaws, where one player actually controls Michael Myers, while the others play Lori, her friends, and even the sheriff and Dr. Loomis. It's a lot of fun. You basically uh, go into the house of Tommy and Lindsay, look for clues, make sure they're all safe, and make sure Michael Myers doesn't kill all of you. It's really fun. I haven't had the chance to play it because friends. <laughs> but this one here, actually, I think it says here somewhere, it's two to four players, just like Jaws, and the average game is 60 minutes plus. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, you can definitely put on the movie in the background while playing the game. Kind of adds to the suspense. Awesome. Cool. I'll add this one to your cart. Nice. Love it. Now, while we're on a roll here, can I introduce you to another board game based on a horror classic? Good, good. Okay. This one is probably my favorite out of all three. This is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre board game, also made by Trick or Treat Studios. This one is a bit different in where you're actually all playing as the victims, and the family are controlled by, uh, I guess you can say, just the game itself. So here, it shows the Sawyer house, along with the road and the uh, diner, um, there's the abandoned cars, there's yards, the graveyard, basically a lot of the iconic sets from the movies, all put into one game board. You and your friends start off right here at the van and slowly make your way through the house and different areas to find keys, gasoline, and different parts to help repair your van so you can get out of there. It's really fun. 
with each character actually having their own set of abilities. Oh yeah, some characters can pick up more than one item at once. Some characters can move farther than others, move family members to different locations. It's a really good game of strategy. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to play. The uh, instructions are extremely, extremely easy to follow, and I would highly recommend this one. Pretty much the same thing. This is one to four players. Average game lasting you about an hour, and it's recommended to ages 14 and up play. I mean, if you're old enough to watch the movies, you're old enough to play the board game. 14-year-olds shouldn't be watching that movie. No, no, I, I understand. Um, but when I tell you this game's going to keep you on the edge of your seat, and what's that? The sound of a chainsaw? Okay, but what do you say? You got it. sign up as a reward member at the end of this transaction and we'll send you emails when we get new stocks. I think there's also a uh, Universal Monsters board game. There's a Jurassic Park board game. There's plenty. It's a lot of fun. Mm. Of course, of course, we can get back to the movies. And while we're on the topic of horror movies, I got something special for you. My horror collection. Just a small portion that I brought out for you. We'll go through them. Oh yeah. I know my way around horror movies. Starting with a classic. This is John Carpenter's The Thing. Possibly one of the best horror movies with the greatest practical effects. This movie was made back in 1982 and the effects in this movie hold up to today. It's incredible. Oh yeah, it's basically about this uh, group of researchers that get caught in this really bad storm and they, uh, I don't want to give out too much, but they basically get invaded by an alien creature that is able to mimic humans, if that makes sense. So just picture this, you're stuck, abandoned in the middle of a snowy wasteland and you don't know which one of your friends could be a blood-sucking killer alien. It's a crazy suspenseful movie. And the over-the-top over blood and gore really adds to it. Oh yeah, if you haven't seen this and you consider yourself a horror fan, definitely check it out. Perfect. I'll add that one to your cart. Now next up could be somewhat of a controversial opinion but I have one of my favorite horror trilogies. There's more than three, but the first three really do it for me. This is the Purge trilogy, starting with number one, The Purge. Now, these are steel book sets. So the cases are made of pure steel really, really nice artwork on them. For instance, the first one on the back features the iconic weapon used, the machete. And of course, the mask of the original Purger, the Smiling Man mask. It's incredible. And a little star there to signify that this is the first movie in the franchise. I know this movie was incredibly divisive for a lot of people, but in my opinion, it actually did pretty well in showing us what can happen when focusing on a single family of people during the purge. It's uh, really special to me. It almost sparked my obsession with horror. It was a pretty fun movie. I like to sit back, watch it, and laugh at it nowadays. So what do you think? First movie in the franchise. Started off strong. Perfect. Now, Get ready for the Purge Anarchy. 
it features, um, I believe they call him the Ghoul, and it features him on the front of the cover. Now, while he doesn't play a main character in the movie, he was most definitely one of the most iconic in the marketing, played by Emmanuel Howell, a really good friend of mine, actually. He did a fantastic job. Uh, they, the makeup team did great in designing him, and I really, really like the color scheme of the red eyes, the white paint, and the blue stars. It's very cool with the theme of America. But this one here features the door buster on the back, which is a shotgun that's used to break down some doors by a landlord, manager, and one of the main characters' apartment complexes. It's a really intense scene, and it's actually really, really crazy fun. Um, this one, in my opinion, actually is my favorite Purge movie. They really got it right with this one, not focusing too much on the one-family-type storyline, but instead bringing several people with different motivations, different storylines, all into one, eventually having them all meet up during Purge Night and figuring out what is right and what is wrong when it comes to purging. You open it up just like the other one, and you get the iconic imagery inside. Like I said before, a great movie that I've watched hundreds of times. And right there, you see the God Mask guy. Again, not a super main character, but most definitely one of the most popular Halloween costumes, just like the ghoul. Now, what do you think? You want to take home what's arguably one of the best movies in the entire franchise? Of course you do. I'll put that one down there for you. And finally, where I believe they should have ended it, the Purge election year. Now, this one features a blue cover of the Lady Liberty mask that I'm sure you've seen every 12-year-old kid, including myself, wear on Halloween. I actually made my own mask, and then all these companies started making knockoff masks, and it just went to hell. This can be associated with a lot of rave parties now and things like that, but the Purge started the craze first. As you can see, Lady Liberty's there in all blue, with the lights actually being a bright white, and of course, three stars on the bottom signifying this being the third movie in the franchise. And in the back, you can see the gold AK-47 that's actually held by Uncle Sam in the entire uh, Purge movie. It's, it's really fun. It's really cool. This one also shows you the crazy side of the Purge, not focusing too hard on one set of people, but letting you kind of explore the opinions and ideas and political side of what the Purge brings. Oh yeah. All Purge movies are highly political, but this one, I think, leans into it the most. I mean, it's called Election Year. <laughs> so, what do you think? Capping off the trilogy. Since you got all three in a steel book, I'll go ahead and see what I can do in terms of getting a deal. You'll be able to line these babies up right up against your collection and have them all look really nice next to each other. We don't talk about the first Purge or the Forever Purge. I think they're actually working on a sixth movie right now. I can't wait to see what it is. Next, I have one final piece of horror memorabilia for you. You look like a good person. Give me a second. Let's see. What I'm holding here is the complete Halloween 15 disc deluxe edition collection. Now, this was released before the Blumhouse movies, but in my opinion has some of the best movies in the franchise. Of course, we'll start off with the classic Halloween. And oh, what's that? Is that signed by Nick Castle addressed? Ryan from Ryan's Radical Movies, the man who played the original Michael Myers? <laughs> I think it is. As you can see, each movie comes in its own black case. Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Of course, Halloween 4, 
signed by Danielle Harris. She is uh, absolutely incredible in these movies. She was a very young actor going in. Of course, Halloween 5. Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers, which... An actually uh, underrated good one, Halloween H2O. I actually kind of enjoyed this one. And the worst Halloween movie ever made in existence, other than Halloween Ends, Halloween Resurrection. When I tell you this had no right being in the franchise, I, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Tyra Banks just... And of course, Busta Rhymes looking Michael Myers deep in the eyes and saying trick or treat motherfucker before he karate kicks him out a window. Pain. Just pain. Of course, it also includes Rob Zombie's version of the original Halloween, his remake, which I believe is signed by both Tyler Maine and uh, Scout Taylor Compton, who plays Laurie and Tyler Maine played Michael Myers, and of course, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, which I wasn't a big fan of, but it came in the collection. You get fantastic artwork on all sides. It's just really, really fun. I enjoy it. And of course, I didn't mention, but it comes with... Give me one second. It comes with a book, actually, that contains a lot of fun facts about the franchise including uh, conceptual art, interviews, plenty of things that I think go really well in the franchise. Any Halloween fan would have a great time shuffling through that book. So, what do you think? This is a prized possession with all the signatures that are inside of it. Fantastic. I'll give you a good deal. Don't even worry. Now, how about we finish it up with comedy? And, of course, action. Gotcha. We'll start with comedy first with one of my favorites, Anchorman. The Legend of Ron Burgundy. One of the first comedy films I ever saw, which influenced a lot of the comedy I do today. Will Ferrell as Ron Burgundy is absolutely incredible. It's about the story of the Channel 5 action news team, Channel 4 news team, that features father, Steve Carell, Paul Rudd, Christina Applegate, and of course Champ, played by David Kochner. I never know how to say his name, but they're an incredible cast that has insane amounts of chemistry with each other, and I would highly recommend it. It's raunchy, it's unrated, it's definitely an adult comedy. Going for it. I like it very much. Now next up we have a special Steelbook Collector's Edition movie. I'm sure you've heard of it before, Superbad. Now, Superbad is actually considered one of the best adult comedy movies ever made. This is the Steelbook version. And this story actually follows uh, two high school students that just get into a bunch of hijinks trying to, you know, and, and they, so then they buy they have to, from the police, and very adult things. So if you're not, um, you know, of age, I would highly recommend not watching this movie, but if you can handle it, I am McLovin. Yeah, it's fantastic. So I'll add this one to your card as well. Good, good. Finally, for comedy, we have another fantastic adult comedy, 21 Jump Street. Jonah Hill and Channing Tatum did a fantastic job with how amazing their chemistry was. Jonah Hill was also in Superbad. That was considered one of his breakout roles. This one solidified him as one of, if not the best, comedic actors and A-list actors of our generation. Oh, he's he's gone on to do some pretty incredible uh, uh, roles. Uh, War Dogs, uh, Moneyball, um, This is the End. Yeah. Those are all really great movies, but I would highly recommend checking this one out. It's about a couple uh, DEA agents infiltrating a high school, pretending to be high schoolers, trying to stop a drug ring of this new crazy drug going on, but I won't give too much. It also features Ice Cube. Oh, yeah, yeah. Of course, I'll add this one to your card as well. Yeah. Okay, how about we uh, move on to action? Let's do it. 
One of the best action movies of the 21st century, in my opinion, is Mad Max Fury Road. One of my favorite quotes in the movie is, Max, what are you mad? That road is way too furious. It's action-packed from start to finish. You won't have a chance to breathe. In immediate cell, very, very happy. This next one, I actually saw in theaters myself and almost had a migraine by the end of it. Yes, of course, I'm talking about the action movie that is filmed through a first-person perspective from start to finish. Hardcore Henry. Now, on a serious note, if you've never seen Hardcore Henry, I would highly recommend it. This movie is completely shot through a first-person point of view, and it's something that needs to be seen by any action movie fan. Seriously. It's like if they took Call of Duty and put it into a movie. There's comedy, action, the whole lot. Good, good. Okay, I'll add that one as well. And then, a surprising, out of nowhere, incredible action movie, Upgrade. It's actually brought to you by the people over at Blumhouse who made Happy Death Day, Get Out, and The Purge. This movie is basically about a man who uh, gets paralyzed, and he is given an extra chance at life by trying out this brand new technology of a little bug put into the back of his brain, right on his spine. I believe to control his nervous system, turning him into this insane, upgraded version of a human being. It's actually really, really interesting, and it has an ending that you'll never expect. I know, interesting. I'll put it in your pile. Yep, I mean, looks like you got yourself a pretty good set going here. How do you feel? Good, good, good. You sure you don't want some popcorn? I understand. How about we just check out, huh? Alright, nice, nice. I'm glad you uh, enjoyed your stay here. Let me just add up all of these. Okay, we got the Halloween board game set. That's going to be from the Booty Pies. And then we're going to go with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That's going to be from the Booty Pies. This was a note of sausage bar. Awesome. Okay. So I'm not going to break the bank here. Your total is going to come out to a very, very easy and clean $837.46. What do you mean? Oh, of course. You're going to sign up for the Radical Ryan's Movie Rewards Program. Yeah, here. Let me uh, type in some of your information. Can I get your email, please? First name. Okay, last name. Address. Now, just in case, you know, we want to send you guys uh, fan mail, uh, any uh, movie care packages. We like to send popcorn, snacks, things like that. Okay. And look at that. Congratulations, you are a 100th member. Yes. Yes, I'm so happy to have you be a part of our rewards movie program. Give me one sec. Oh man, Deborah, stop putting so much butter in the popcorn, Jesus. Because you are our 100th member, you get your choice of several different prizes. Here, we have two $25 gift cards to Cinemark Movies. If you'd like to take that one. Not a Cinemark person, okay, well... We also have two Regal movie tickets right here. Mm -hmm. Both of them are good for any premium movie ticket at any Regal cinema. You're not a Regal goer. Okay, cool. How about AMC? Perfect. AMC right here. We have two AMC gold ticket. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right there, that's going to get you any premium movie seat along with the uh, bucket of popcorn and a large drink to share with whoever you want to go to the movies with. <laughs> I've never really been with another person before. I usually just go alone. But please enjoy that. And since you're our 100th member, all this is free. Of 
course, of course, no worries. Just make sure to come back to Ryan's Radical Movies. <laughs> Enjoy uh, those tickets with whoever, you know, you want to take to the movies. <laughs> Hopefully someone that really enjoys movies, you know. But, uh... A movie with me. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, let me check my account. Yeah, I'm free that day. Yeah, yeah for sure. Um, you know what? I, I just found out next week they have a brand new 25th anniversary viewing of Shark Boy and Lava Girl. What do you say? Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go get my Shark Boy costume. You can be Lava Girl. We'll buy you a full outfit. Alright, perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, enjoy your movies, and I'll see you next week. All right. Bye. Yeah, Mom. I, I actually, I made. I think I made a friend.